Hi there, it's Cheryl from Caribou Country Lifestyle. So today I, it's Saturday, June the 5th, and I am planting my tomato seedlings and my pepper seedlings. So what I just showed you was the tomatoes I've planted in behind and those red little mini greenhouses. Those are my cozy coats and I have used them for a number of years. I've used them to have around my tomato plants, but this year I am using them to put around my pepper plants to protect them. As last year on June the 4th, at this time, I planted my peppers, or I had just planted my peppers actually, and we ended up getting hail and it just pulverized my poor pepper plants. So over here what I have done is I've planted my four tomato plants and I have this is the rainbow blend it's a type of a brandy wine it is going to need to be staked so that's why I have these here with this cattle panel on these tea posts and on the other side I have an actual brandy wine these are both a uh, heritage um, plants and then in front of those I have my peppers these peppers are all hot peppers I have a cayenne jalapeno I have uh, the Primo Habanero and then I have the Tabasco on the end. This one on the end is the Tabasco and I've already set up one of these cozy coats. I filled it up with water and I'm just going to show you. So I have the cozy coat here and inside I have a bucket to keep it stable and I just fill up. They're just long tubes and I fill them up with water so it's like a mini greenhouse and it's actually great for us with a short season it helps to when I've used these with the tomatoes I've actually noticed a considerable increase in growth in a short time using these around my tomato plants so I want to use them to protect my pepper plants from any of the elements I, you know June the 5th I'm hoping that we're not going to be having any more crazy weather but today I have been in and out of the house because it's been raining on and off Right now it seems like it's super sunny, but all of a sudden the rain comes and then it's pouring rain and I have to go inside. So those other plants that I planted over there with the ones that I showed you first, I actually was out already to plant those. And then it started to rain, so I had to go inside and wait that out. So I got the next set of tomato plants and pepper plants that I wanted to plant. And that's these ones. So now I'm back out again. And it, like I say, it's the sun's out. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's the way it was when I planted those other plants. And then the next thing you know, the rain came and I had to go inside. So I pretty much, it doesn't take very long. I pretty much have all of these full now. I just kind of go around and pop off whichever ones aren't full. I take out the bucket. And then I just carry it over to my next set of pepper plants. And I just put it around the pepper plant. And then the pepper plant is inside and it's protected from the elements. Gives it some insulation, that water in those tubes 
warms up with the sun when the, on those nice days it'll warm that water up within no time and then that will help insulate and protect my pepper plants so it works pretty good actually okay on to the next one okay so I'm gonna start planting my next set of tomato plants I have some new girl tomato plants it's an indeterminate type of tomato so it needs to be staked I'm gonna take off the bottom branches because I'm planting these as deep as I can and I'm putting them right down into the hole as much as I can as deep as I can get them and I'll pull up the dirt around them quite a bit too and pack it down a bit as well and I'll put my little tag here so I know what there it's in that hole and I have two new girls that I'm planting and then the other two on that side are going to be there it's a black natural cherry tomato plant and again that is another indeterminate tomato but it's not the full size it's just a cherry tomato Take my bottom leaves off and put that down as low as I can and I'll build up this around the plant and pack it down a bit too. And then I will also mulch around these plants with straw as well. Okay, so now I will take one of my black cherry. Another thing that I'm doing, I've seen on some other YouTube videos, is uh, there's a gal that puts an egg in the bottom of her planting hole of her tomato plants so I'm trying that I've done an egg in all of my tomato plants but in this uh, section here I'm actually gonna do a little experiment so I have this one has an egg in it this one does not this one has an egg in it and I just need to make this a little deeper Okay, so I put the egg in and then you just give it a little crack. I'm going to take out my tomato plant, pluck off the bottom leaves. I just put it right in the hole. The leaf that I that leaf that I plucked off, I just dump it right in the hole. It's not a big deal. And build the dirt up around it, mound it up. Okay, and I'll grab my last tomato for in here. It's starting to cloud over again, so we might be in for another rain, which has been the seems to be the thing today. It said it was going to rain, like there was an 80% chance of rain today. So I knew I was gonna be, so this one does not have the egg in the bottom of it. And I will just bring this around it. I've This dirt is quite moist. 
because when I had these were this was the bed I had my raspberries that I got from my sister so this bed is quite moist because I have been watering this bed quite a bit when I had the raspberries until they uh, started to take root so then in front of these tomatoes I am going to plant some more pepper plants I don't have any more cozy coats so what I'm going to do is I picked up some plastic clutches and it's just a plastic dome see-through dome that uh, I'll put over top of it and it has a little vent hole in the top that I can open it up um, on the days where it's quite warm so just dig my hole these are my pobleno peppers and I have two pobleno peppers in one pot because peppers like to be planted close to each other so I just decided to put two of the same in one pot and uh, I'm gonna do that and see how that goes I watch a lot of uh, different gardening videos and I read quite a bit and it says that peppers like to be planted close to one another so uh, when I was transplanting them I decided I would just put two in one pot and I have another set of two pobleno peppers oh, it's not quite as sunny as it was when I was just had you looking at those other ones I'll put this tag beside it so then I know and plunk these into the ground be careful I don't squish my plants well hello Momo Momo has FOMO. Uh, she likes to be where the center of attention a lot of times. Okay, this is sweet heat. So it's sweet with a little bit of heat to it. So I haven't, I haven't grown these before, so I'm hoping it's not, they're not too hot. Um, I don't mind a bit of heat. I'm getting better, my husband says. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, because he likes hot wings, he likes, he doesn't mind heat at all. And I am like, I am, I'm getting better. I don't want things hot though. He can have the hot wings and I don't have the hot wings. There's one kind that I have and they're called uh, the hun honey, hot and honey wings. And even those, I find those to be a little bit too hot. I like salt and pepper wings. I can handle that, but not hot stuff. And the eggs, I just used the eggs from, of course, from my chickens. Those lovely birds. Momo, I can't pet you right now. I'm busy. I'm too busy. Can't do it. And I'm going to... These are... Some more of the sweet heat. Not sure where to put this tag. Well, I'll just put it right there. This was a single one. So I'll put that one there. 
And then on this side is called a sweet sunset. So I'm gonna put that tag on that side. I'm putting them in the same hole. I'm not sure if that's going to make a big difference, but eh, we'll take a chance. Take a chance that it'll be fine. All else fails, maybe the sweet heat will make the sweet sunset have a little bit of heat to them, but that's okay. Like I say, I don't mind a little bit of heat, but I don't want them to be too hot. Okay, so then, now I am just going to wait for these plants to get bigger. And once these tomatoes grow up to the bottom of this panel, then I can start tying them up and staking them up to the panel. And um, yeah, it should be good. It'll be good. I'm just so happy to be actually out here planting plants. But I look at the sky and it's getting gray again. So, all right, we better move on to the next plants. Here's what I did with these peppers. So these are just some plastic clutches that I got from the dollar store and they were three for two dollars and fifty cents from the dollar store and if you notice they have a little vent hole in the top that can turn around oh my goodness momo you are in the way anyways they each have a little vent hole along the top and because i've ran out of my cozy coats and I just want to show you my cozy coats and inside I don't know if you can see it get my there's one I pulled it over there's the other And that should protect them. My cat is just... And with these, I can push them in so they're more like a teepee to protect them if I know that things are going to be cold. I hear thunder. That's uh, not a good sign. I just want to... My husband helped me get this last panel up and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be planting the cucumelons on here to go up there. Those, um, I've never planted them before, but from what I understand, it's just a small little miniature um, cucumber. Hi, it's the next day. So, of course, you're not going to believe what happened yesterday. I was saying how it was getting dark and I could hear thunder and um, I seen a bit of lightning too. And it's like deja vu. And I knew that the rain was coming, so I went into the house, cleaned up all my stuff, put everything away, went into the house, thought, well, if it's going to be raining, I'll clean instead, because that's usually what I try to do. If it's raining, I will clean. So it's raining, and then the next thing you know, my husband says, it's starting to hail. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, so we come running out 
and we're grabbing buckets and we're grabbing pails and we're grabbing planter pots and we're putting everything over the tomatoes. My peppers were already covered, thank goodness. So we're covering the flowers that I just planted as well and it is literally just hailing all over the place and I was just I couldn't believe it so yeah a year ago June 4th I planted my plants and it hailed June 5th I plant my plants and it hails I'm like oh my gosh is this going to be my yearly thing so if I wait until June the 6th next year I'm still gonna get hailed on so kind of ridiculous so I have planted my plants and I'm just watering them all now. Uh, we are going to be getting quite a bit of rain. Oh, they're calling for quite a bit of rain over the next week on and off. So we'll have to see what happens, but I am still gonna water everything just to make sure because the weather just changes so quickly here. Every 10 minutes, it seems to be something else is happening. So. I am going to get everything watered and I will take you on a little tour once I get everything watered. So I wanted to give you a quick tour of what I've planted after my hail storm yesterday. So I have planted in the back a zinnia and a crimson morning glory that is going to be climbing up there. These are my cucamelons, which I'm already disappointed because my cats already got in here and dug up a couple of them, but I've got them back in the ground, so I'm going to rewater them as well. These are more zinnias and a sunflower. I have some more zinnia, two zinnias planted there. And then, of course, this is my bed with my asparagus and beans that I have planted waiting for that to come up. In the back here, I have zinnias and sunflowers growing. That is that cozy coats. Anything in the red cozy coats, those are my peppers. And then I have my tomato in the back. Another tomato in the back there. I've also planted some of my marigolds. I put a little cap on that one just to give it a... It was pretty puny when I planted it in there. Another tomato and another little marigold over on here are of course my Chinese toy choy my set, onion sets and in behind I have picked up a couple of cucumber plants that I got half price. They look like they got a little bit of frost on them but I think they'll be okay. One is a burpless cucumber and the other one is a patio snacker. I actually thought they were both burpless but that's okay. And then here I have my okra and my nasturtiums which have not sprouted yet my bright lights swiss chard and in this bed i have my lettuce and my rutabagas and they're just about an inch tall here i've planted some royal alyssum and some white alyssum and in front of that I have dill, but it hasn't come up yet. Then over here I have carrots and they just started sprouting, so it's really hard to see them. And then coming over on this other bed, I have planted these and those are my leeks that I started inside. And those little plants, this is... Uh, calendula and a marigold and my tomatoes along with my peppers in the cozy coats. These are onions and I just 
noticed I have a little onion sprout there. And these are just annual bunching onions, so just green onions. Here I have more calendula and I have some alyssum. A peeny, eeny, weeny, teeny little marigold. Okay, on this side, I have lettuce planted, but <clears throat> I haven't really been seeing too much lettuce coming up on that side. I just planted some broccoli and then I put these little toilet paper rolls around them to protect them from the cutworms. Because a lot of times if you just leave them within no time, a cutworm all of a sudden appears and it will cut it right off at the base and you'll, your plant will be ruined. So I have some zinnias, some more alyssum. I've planted my um, ground cherry. I only got two plants there, so I just put them together, these little two here. That's the ground cherry, and on the uh, more calendula, here are my kale, two different kinds of kale. On this side is the dwarf curled kale, and then on the other side is the not churl Toscano kale which they also call dinosaur kale. And here are my radishes. I've weeded all amongst all the rows now too, so it's pretty defined of what's what. I have a calendula plant in this corner here, and then I've planted some more zinnias. I'm not sure what kind of zinnias those are. And here I have planted, it's a Brussels sprout. So I have two Brussels sprouts. Again, I have the toilet paper roll over top to protect them from the cutworms. I planted some holy basil, Tulsi here, and I haven't really seen, I'm afraid to pick too many weeds out of here just in case. These, I weeded this bed, so these are my beets. This row here in front, that is the, um, the golden Detroit beet. And then in behind is the red ace beet in front of this little blue tag going along. That's my cylinder beets. And on the other side, I finally got to weed that because my pole beans are coming up. And you can just see them coming up through the ground. And then this here is another type of a pole bean. This is a hyacinth pole bean. Now, the only thing about this pole bean is it's going to grow about 8 to 10 feet tall. It will have flowers and it will have beans, but they are not edible. It is, I'm just growing this virtually for, uh, just for show. We won't be able to eat anything off of there. And these are the tomatoes and the peppers. I didn't have any more cozy coats, so I got the plastic clutches out and they have little vent openings on the top so that there can get some ventilation going in there. I've planted some more zinnias and I've also planted uh, another sunflower there. In this bed is my spinach. And in front of it, right here, this is carrots, and that is the solar yellow carrots. And then I have another spinach in behind, the Bloomsdale spinach. And in the front of that spinach is the <clears throat> purple haze carrots, which they're barely coming through the ground. Over on this side, I have my snap peas. I planted some more calendula and in these ones, this is my early 
snowball cauliflower in those two. And then in this next three is my cheddar cauliflower. And the heads on it are orange. And I got my strawberry bed all weeded and straw on it. Had to take the netting off. I just took half of the netting off and flipped it over, weeded it all, and then put my straw on it. Actually wasn't too bad after all. So that's what we have going on for this weekend. I'm going to be doing some more planting during the week after work. Just see how my days are. Like I say, they're calling for quite a bit of rain this week and hopefully no more hail. That was crazy. Um, I, I just can't believe it. A year later and it almost hails on the exact same day. So it's pretty crazy. Weather is crazy. So you can never predict what the weather is really going to happen. I guess when I heard thunder and lightning, I knew it was going to be a storm brewing in, but I didn't think it was going to be quite that bad. Anyways, I will say goodbye for now. Have a great rest of your weekend and we will talk again soon.